Right, it's very windy. I walked past the mast earlier. I had a little sing and a jump in the field up there. I videoed myself. Um, I haven't had my picnic as intended, but I think it's better to get the hill bit out of the way. I just met two lost men down there. They didn't seem to really know where they were. Um, a lot of people can't map read. Um, they've got the map and they don't know how to, you know, place it so that they know which direction, say, Cheddar is. So, I sort of told them they can either come this way, go right across and then turn down by Tynion's farm. Anyway, here's the trig point, everyone. It's windy, so it might be a bit bumpy jumpy today. I'm just getting the trig point in while I can, because normally whenever I do this trig point, there's somebody on it. And there could still be somebody on it in a minute if I try and do a photo. If I try and do a photo up close. Now it is tremendously windy, but look at the scenes, everyone. Aren't they gorgeous? I've done a great big swipe around like that. Bumped into two ladies I met earlier on the north side of the gorge. They were just coming up the steps and as I was going down them. They must have done quite a hike, you know. Um, and they're going back via Velvet Bottom, Black Rock, and then they're going up the steps again. They made a wrong turning or something. They probably went through piney sites. Those two men didn't seem too keen to come here. I think they've already been up here. Uh, see, I mean, I know all the ways across the fields and that. Now, here are burial mounds, by the way. These are burial mounds. These are procession mounds. But, of course, we've had an awful lot of people out. And they do look a little bit flattened. This is a burial mound up here. Ancient monument and burial mound. Now, I haven't actually been up to the trick point for a while. Even though I might have passed it, because people, they've uh, dominated it. So that's an ancient monument there. I'll just get up on the trick point first. Well, I can, because someone's bound to be coming. <sighs> yeah, I think I've made the right decision, actually, to do this first. Mendip Hills, area of outstanding natural beauty. Beacon Batch, highest point of the Mendip Hills. 325 metres high, 1,066 feet. <sighs> 1972 to 2012, celebrating 40 years as a protected landscape. Now here I am. All I've got to do is walk straight down there and bear left down to Tynion's farm. Um, ahead of me we've got, um, see that, those trees, that's Smoebury Warren where I was a week ago. Roaming in and out of those trees and I was over at the hill fort which won't really come in. So this is the first time I've been able to stand on this trick point without loads of people about. On a clearer day you can see Steep Home and Breen Down from here, but it's very murky further out. Um, Gustenbury, no, you can't see anything very far above Cheddar Gorge is over there. That's Cheddar Gorge. Done like a massive sweep, say from there up and around, and around, and around, and around. I met two blokes, I don't know where they've gone. Um, but anyway, um, over and out for a minute. Right, so um, I've taken some photos. I'm just going up to the ancient monument again, the burrow, which everyone does, and eventually it gets worn. So I don't know where two lost souls have gone. I haven't got a clue. I can't, couldn't see them at all once I left. Um, over there we've got either Chew Magna Lake or Blagden. See? 
and I never know which is which. I've got a feeling that might be Blagden first and Chew Magnum might be further up. <sighs> It's amazing that no one's up here. It's a lovely day. People are watching the football. Right. I'm going to keep it running even though it's windy because um, I'm so pleased to have got here and I've done it in good time. I did have to put a bit of speed on, but because I hadn't eaten anything, I, th I didn't get um, indigestion and discomfort from uh, a shortness of breath or anything. I was able to just zoom here, really. I got here real quick from there. Didn't go exactly to plan, but um, I decided, no, I wouldn't do Longwood. I only did it the other week, and I haven't actually done this for a long time. So, not here. Well, I say a long time, it could be a year, two years ago. Yeah. It's an ancient, sacred place, really, to be quite honest. It's a sacred place. Are you going to land on there for me? Come on, then. Come on. Come and land. Come on. So all I've got to do is follow this path all the way down till I get to the parade. When I get to the parade, I'll turn left and go down a wonky wonky track to Tinian's farm. Right, over and out then, for a minute. 